Companies like Supreme, Nike, and Yeezy are known for their hyped drops that sell out in seconds, but a few decades ago, the term drop didn't even exist. Now, the biggest brands in the world are using them to build excitement and anticipation for massive product release. So, where did drops come from? In the 90s, the Japanese streetwear brand Good Enough was the first retailer to make a drop strategy the core of their business. Between limiting the supply and making limited edition products, the anticipation from their customers was spreading like wildfire. The brand began growing a cult-like following following in Japan and over in New York City, the skate shop Supreme was following in their footsteps. Supreme offered one-off, limited supply items and grew a base of loyal customers that loved being in the small Supreme community. Eventually, everyone was dying to get their hands on Supreme, and now, they set the standard for product drops. They've sold out of everything from branded crowbars, bricks, and metro tickets, to toothpaste, matches, and nunchucks. Today, there are several ways to create hype surrounding a product drop, with one of the best ways being Lalo, a drop platform that allows your audience to sign up for notifications about drops, events, exclusive content, and more. 